this particular piece, for me, I love tropical fish. It's no secret if anybody's ever heard me talk about my work. But the biggest upsetting thing to me with that could be so easily, well, not easily fixed, but people really need to wake up fast, is the plastic. The mm. plastic in the oceans, just the beaches, the litter, the, it's just our planet is a blue planet. And every night before I go to sleep, I watch shows about the universe. And our planet is so unique. They keep searching, looking for water on this moon or that moon. And we have something so special. So I feel ultimately, well, let me back up and talk a little bit about this piece and why I titled it as such. With the global warming, with the plastic, the reefs, everything, species just disappearing all the time. This was my little way of saying, I get emotional, just, oh, God, what the heck? Anyway, yeah, it's just that, that last little sweet fish just looking around, you know, and that's, I'm shocked that I'm getting emotional talking about it, but I feel it's with the children because there's so many adults and people that, you know, they're closed. They're just closed. So with children, if we can get it into the schools, into everything, broaden their horizons to really understand this planet and how absolutely unique and special it is because when people come set away it's a lot more different everybody can sit and say we need to do this and that it's like well you really can only do it yourself and i feel our best hope is with the children and that they just come up with a different way of looking at the world with respect and with plastic and with everything so Thank you so much. Sorry I got emotional. <laughs> but yeah. No, because it's true. Right? Yeah. It also it this is a piece that um it's a whole cloth painting painted with fiber reactive dye uh, and it's free motion embroidered around. But, uh, yeah, that's it. But the message is the important part. <laughs> 